No, Paloma's not your friend. Generic intro in the deck is me here. Back with another episode or episodes of Red vs. Blue. Today we're watching Season 14, Episode 14 and 15. Because they're grouped together for convenience. Episode 15, Caboose's Guide to Making Friends. I'm guessing that's Caboose's handwriting. That's going to be... Uh, Interesting to say the least. Episode 14 looks like it's grayscale, gray versus gray. So I imagine it's going to be like, instead of red versus blue, everybody's just going to be on the same team. Nobody, they're supposed to be fighting, but all they see is gray. So I wonder if that's going to be from like a colorblind person's perspectives, or is it going to be like an old school, like investigation kind of thing, you know, like black and white, when like shows have like a black and white episode where it's like they're trying to solve a crime or a murder or something in like an old city and they like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm loving Red vs. Blue. If you want to find my reaction to the last two videos, check that up there. It was a death battle. Main vs. Meta. Who would win? Not Main vs. Meta. That's the same person. That's Carolina vs. The Meta, if you want to check that out. Also be linked in the description. Also be a playlist on the channel. Also start doing the PSAs as uh, bonus videos as uh, everybody is kind of stuck at home right now. So I'm trying to make as many videos as I possibly can. I'm currently under a stay at home order until April 30th. So with all of the North Carolina. So this is uh, this is all I can do pretty much is just record and make videos. So hopefully everybody out there is staying safe and healthy and looking after your family and loved ones. Uh, thank, thank you to patrons down below. Wouldn't be able to do this day in and day out if it wasn't for them. They get some benefits here and there, like early access to all of my reaction videos for an entire month for $3. Or $5 gets you in every video for the month. Which, for the month of March, we're about to hit a million views for the month of March. I've never had a million views in a month. And uh, we're on pace to do it for the month of March, which is insane. Like, that's so many views and people and just what? So, if you uh, do enjoy it, subscribe if you uh, want to see more from me. If you keep watching my videos and you're not subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Just a million views. That's so many. I cannot thank you all enough for uh, watching the videos and supporting me in various ways. I have a Discord server that's completely free to join. I uh, should also be playing uh, some Halo live stream. hopefully, if the live stream works at 5 o'clock or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so 30 minutes after this video goes live, hopefully. So, I hope uh, you join for uh, Twitch. Twitch is doing really well right now. We're about to start Halo Reach, actually. So that's going to be interesting. But uh, Season 14, Episode 14, Gray versus Gray. I wonder if Dr. Gray is going to make an appearance. I hope so. I miss Dr. Gray. Let's get on into it. In the summer of animation. There's some characters in there. Hey, Vic. All right, I got a joke for you. What's Go black ahead. and white and red all over? Oh, snap, wait, wait. This joke doesn't make any sense until you see the next story. Okay, so I'll just describe it to you then so you'll get my joke. Uh, it's about another group of reds and blues, and it's really funny, and, um, man, so you know what? Like I'm the other keep working on my material. episodes. Gray versus gray. Gray with an E versus gray with an A. Okay, it's going to be like that style I was talking about. What is it, like, noir or something? Well, what I'm trying to say is... I don't care what you're trying to say. What I'm actually saying is... My red-hearted mama always told me not to trust a dirty blue, and I'm sure not gonna start now. Quiet. We've been here for three hours, and we haven't been able to compromise on anything. We're no closer to peace than when we started. Well, Hutch... We'd already have Hutch? You Reds would Wait, dire is that like actual like Hutch? Decent people or peacefully surrender. Squatch, After you're all dude. dead. When take control of your men, need I remind you we're locked in here and those doors won't open until we reach an agreement. Or we're all dead. Whose idea was that oh. anyway? Mine. Deal with it. Well, it looks oh. like we gotta get to peacemaking or we're gonna be in more trouble than a bull moose in Blood Gulch. God, why do I keep spitting in my helmet? Why are you helmet? talking to... This is hopeless. Why are you talking about actually reaching peace? Statistically insignificant, my dear naive Squatch. We're as good as dead. Fine by me. The only good red is a dead red. A Watch dead red them actually be on red team. Shed, he said. Knock it off, Watch boys. them be blue team. Especially you, Cobb. Remember which side you're on here. Sorry, Hatch. Got caught up in the moment. No way I'm going to mistake myself for a two-faced mud-sucking blue... That's it. We're out of here. Deuce, bust open those doors. I don't think it's going to work like You're that. You're leaving over my dead body. 
And it's a murder mystery now. Oh my god, there's a murderer in here. I, I gotta get out of here. Aren't you supposed to be at war? Those doors aren't opening. Reg is correct. We're not leaving until we find peace or we're all dead. Well, it's obvious who shot Hutch. It was when? Me? Why me? You're the leader of the blues. Like a shotgun. You benefit the most from his death. Yeah, see? My commander wouldn't hurt a fly unless it was a red. Oh, wait. I believe it was you who said the only good red is a dead red. What? You're accusing me now? You're the one with those weird looking shifty eyes. How could you see his eyes? I mean, look at him. Yeah, see? He's doing it right now. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Or am I? Okay, look. People, we gotta He's sort suspicious. this out. Now no, let's so try shotgun. what we used to do back home on Alpha Centauri. A good old fashioned lineup. Good idea, Cobb. Everybody stand against that wall. Everybody? Is anybody gonna interrogate? Nobody's proven innocent yet. Uh, isn't there normally a witness that identifies the suspect? Oh, right. Here's how we're gonna do it. One by one, let's step forward and say, I shot Hutch. You first, Cobb. All right. I shot Hutch. My oh my God! God. You you know. Know. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't shoot! I was just saying what he told me to say. This isn't gonna work. No lineup. Everybody say, I shot Hutch. Oh, great idea, Wynn. Don't sass me, Squatch. Any other it's hard to tell who's on whose team here. We could... Wait a second. Well, this doesn't seem right. Uh-oh. Where's my third red? Reds come here. Blue stays there. Wait. Uh-oh. Wait. What is happening here? Yeah, hold on. I'm a little confused. Wait. Look, Blue, will you just call your man over? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, it's Squash. Even they're confused. Bring our guy over. What? Why me? What in heaven's name is taking you people so long? Well, you Who all was the it? Same. No, we don't. We're red. You know, the color of tomatoes, celery, the ocean. Celery's not red. It's blue. It was the ocean. What are you, stupid? Celery's purple. Celery's They're all colorblind. I don't know what color celery is. I don't know what color anything is. Everything just looks gray. Do you mean to tell me that you can't see colors? Probably none of them can. Neither can I. Um, okay, yeah, cards on the table. I just see everything in shades of gray. You, you know, know what? I think exactly. This is an experiment. Wow, well, chaps, it appears we are all extremely colorblind. Very extremely colorblind. <laughs> what are the odds of that? So you mean all of us have been fighting blue versus red this whole time and nobody could see color? We were always it took on them opposite this long sides to figure of the map. And I always thought those were random code names like Delta Squad or Green Team. All right, all right everyone calm down. We had a way of settling disputes like this back on good old Casio PIA. Yeah, stars aren't planets. Man. Yes, they are. Big glowing planets. Good, mm, yes. I don't think they are, are right. they? Wait, no. who the hell are you? Uh, I'm one of you reds. Uh, obviously. Deuce. I, I mean, us reds. Uh, us reds, yeah, see? Deuce, we all know it's you. You've got a two on your shoulder. Ah, but our dear Regina <laughs> pairs the same symbol. Yeah, and Regina? I'm clearly Reg. Yeah, see? That's exactly what Deuce would say. Reg is a girl. Damn right I am. Deuce, why the hell are you trying to switch sides anyway? <sighs> hey, are you gonna answer him? All right, screw this. I'm killing them both. Yes, excellent. Both? What? Hey, what? Hey, O'Malley? Hey, 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 is O'Malley back? Hey, 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 hey. Shot Hutch will be missing a bullet. See, full clip wasn't me. So, uh, who's next? Look at you, Reg. How about you, Squatch? <laughs> Come on, Squatch, show us your gun. <laughs> What's wrong, dear Squatch? <laughs> Something to hide. <laughs> Fine, it was me. I killed Hutch. Did you really? I didn't mean to. The lights went out, and, and I panicked. I 
get jumpy in the dark. I I swear I didn't so mean this. So you shoot? Wait, wait, just a car shucking minute. Now that I think about it, I heard a shotgun go off. Yeah. That ain't a shotgun. Who has a shotgun? Well, it's been fun, but I'm afraid. Wait. It was me. Yeah. Uh, French? Who yeah, was it? An idiot. Yeah, see, killing's all I've ever been good at. If we had peace, I just don't know what I'd do. Thanks, Deuce. But a shotgun went off. I've got to come clean. I shot Hutch. Now Everybody Hutch shot Hutch. When the lights went out, I saw my opportunity to strike. What? I'm How did you see? Win. I shot him too. I always envied Hutch's position. I'd make for a much better leader. <laughs> just listen to my accent. But Does everybody hate Hutch? That means we all shot Hutch. Yes, except for Reg, it seems. <laughs> all right, you got me. I swapped guns with Hutch after I shot him. You see, when I was first stationed here, Hutch stole my rations, and from that day forward, I so you right, killed him. Right. No one cares to hear your life story. Well, Griff stole Simmons' shot. rations all, all the time, probably. <laughs> Time in exactly the same place. What are the odds of that? Very low. <laughs> well, if we're being completely honest with each other, I think this is for the best. I mean, I never really wanted peace. Oh, get out! You're get probably out. all you like saying. red yeah, or blue. I was just kind of going along with what everyone else seemed to want. Well, that is just too funny. You know, I'm glad we were able to set our differences aside. And I don't come know what captions you're doing. Peaceful resolution. And they all died. And the doors open. Autopsy revealed that Hutch died of a heart attack immediately after the lights went out. Why? What a goddamn shame. Why did he have a heart attack? I thought everybody shot him. What did I just witness? I don't think I'm gonna get. I don't think this video is gonna make even any more sense than that last one did. Go ahead, Caboose. Alrighty, amigos. It's time for another one of Vic's stories. Now, this time I was thinking of hitting you all with the origin of friendship. Uh, whoa, dude. How did you get? <laughs> I used the door. Fourth wall break. the door. To get into this fourth wall breaking episode prologue? Caboose is aware. You found a door to do that? Yep. It was next to the broken window by the bed's red room. I am not even mad. Caller me impressed. Thank you. So <laughs> did you did you have a story or something, dude? Oh, yep. Thank you for asking. Well, all right, Blue Amigo. The floor is yours. Uh, Vic's not colorblind. Uh, Hello. Oh. My name is Caboose. Uh, Her name is me. Michael. Uh, yeah, I said uh, caboose. Thank you. Yeah, so anyway, for a really long time, I lived in this canyon, and it was pretty great. Blood Valley. I had friends. They really liked me. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but not because I'm psychic. Wait, you are? You're thinking, caboose. How did you get so good at making friends? I like to make friends too. We could have sandwiches together. Well, I will tell you. But only if you share those sandwiches and the oh. peanut butter. First, you need to know what makes good friend material. Cotton is most people's favorite friend material, mainly because it is soft. But in my personal experience, it catches on fire pretty easy. How Other do you know this? Other materials you may want to avoid are cactus. Oh, no cactus need friends. Oh. Why does Tucker have a rock? Thank you for personal experience. I really like metal. Metal is pretty much the best material for making friends because it is thorough. Where's Lopez at? Uh oh. Bye bye. Hey. Memory key. Out of <laughs> Why is hey, it's a tennis ball. Remember that 
Ah, oh. freckles. Oh no, not freckles. I'm pretty sure Dr. Gray did that. But the horse didn't talk. Calling the kettle black. You will lose a friend. Sometimes even your best friend. Oh no. Oh, that got dark. Maybe you get into a fight. Maybe they're destroyed in electromagnetic pulse. You, you mean an imp? It's just a sad, 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 sad part of life. I think your record has a scratch in it, bro. But you know, I think the very best thing about friends, uh, the thing most people forget about it, is it's Washington Tucker. No oh, God. Oh, Paloma. No, Paloma's not your friend. And that's pretty you were doing so good until you got to the end. There's like 30 seconds at the end of this. Why? I don't know when they have after credit scenes. Because uh, I know that they have after credit scenes like in the later seasons. I don't think we're in the later seasons yet. Well, we're in season 14 and there's only, what, 17 seasons out? They're about to do 18 later this year unless that's been pushed back due to uh, the world currently being kind of like on fire. But it's not on fire anymore. It was on fire. We put the fires out and now it's on fire in a different sense of the word. <laughs> I'm, I man, I wish Dr. Gray made an appearance in uh, Gray vs. Gray. That would have been amazing. I figured that it was like they put a whole bunch of colorblind people that only saw Gray. Told one side they were red, one side they were blue, and that they're supposed to hate the other side. Figured that was how it was going to happen, and then turned into a murder mystery. Is that like a type of genre or something? Like, I want to say it's like noir or something. Because, like, I think, like, Supernatural or something had an episode like that that I've seen before. I'm not sure. I enjoyed it. The Caboose has gotten to make a friend. That was actually an enjoyable video. It's kind of like a, a trip down memory lane with all the friends that Caboose has made and lost and killed and made and remade and killed and remade again. He really does need metal friends. Because if he had, like, living friends, he'd definitely have killed them by now. I don't. I have no. I have no words for Caboose's spelling. So Caboose is aware enough to know that he's on a show and break the fourth wall all the time, and he's strong enough to take ten times gravity and have no fears. But he doesn't know how to write. But he doesn't know how to make friends. That is one thing, I guess. Well. I hope you enjoyed this video or videos. I definitely did. There's going to be more Red vs. Blue content coming out in the future. Uh, like I said, last video was a death battle between Carolina and the meta. If you want to check that out, be in the playlist on the channel. Uh, season 14 has been really enjoyable, and I've enjoyed it, and I hope you are too. A lot of people don't like it, but a ton of people do like it. The comments are super helpful, telling me a bunch of uh, neat things about Red vs. Blue and the stories and references that are made. Because I'm sure all the Grey vs. Grey people were like other YouTubers, kind of like the other uh, series was. Wasn't it like Funhouse or something? I'm not sure. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take uh, care of yourself and be safe. And as always... Cue the music. We were playing as soldiers, making swords.